Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and I'd like to show you how to get started with PhotoArt in Essentials. When you launch the application, first thing you should do is go to Layouts and Photo Painting, and that brings you to the Photo Painting panel. From here, I'm going to browse out to find an image that I would like to paint up. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what you'll notice is that the canvas looks blank. It is indeed blank, but if we come down to the third section in the photo panel, I'm going to go ahead and turn on tracing paper, and this offers a guideline to me. So I can see the original image. I can adjust the opacity level using the slider. So there's the original, and you know, if you, I wanted to hand paint, I could use this as my guideline. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the tracing paper. And the first and easiest option for creating a painting is to use a preset. So if I come to the preset panel here, let's go ahead and run pastel portrait and we'll let this do its thing and then I'll show you where you can go from here. Now while it's painting, I can see that it's using the square rough pastel brush to create the painting. And knowing that brush could come in handy if you wanted to do any kind of touching up. Now I'm gonna go ahead up to the brush selector and we're in the auto painting and touch up and it's now given me a brush called touch up light and the reason that we've done this is if you are using a mouse this particular brush is going to apply a very light level of pressure so with a mouse you can't actually adjust the pressure if you click down on the mouse one click is one stroke this will make it easy if you don't have a tablet. I happen to be using a Wacom Intuos tablet so I can adjust the pressure just by how hard or soft I place the stylus on the tablet. So that is touch up light. There are a few different brushes that are going to bring back the stylized image. There's a soft brush, there's a light brush. The hard brush, just as you might expect, is going to give hard edges on that brush. So it's 100% bringing back the stylized image right now. Now, if we move outside of these touch-up brushes, let's say we go to the pastel and I begin to paint. This is painting with the colors from the source image, but allowing me to add my own personalized touch to it. So, you know, I can use the image as my guideline select any brush that I might want within this category, and it will paint with the colors from the image. Let's go ahead and grab Sponge Fetty here, and we'll come up. This one, it's putting a bunch of different sponges out on the image. Now, whether you're in the auto painting and touch up or photo painting categories, these are both going to paint with the colors from the source image and it's going to be using whatever media that you select. But what if I want to explore painting with any of the other brushes that we see in the brush selector? Before we do this, I'm going to just come back out to the image here. And what we're painting from right now is the stylized image. With our AI, we first stylize the original image and then we apply the beautiful Essentials brush strokes over it. So let's open up the original just so you can see the, the slight difference between the two. So here's the original photo that is untouched up. And then if we come to the stylized image, this is what Essentials has done for you. So uh, in a lot of cases, the stylized image will help make that original photo look a little bit more painterly. But in some cases, you may just want to work from your original image. So here we've got the original. I can say I want to photo paint from this image. So I'll say use the open image and it looks the same as when we started. Okay, so now we're ready to experiment with some other brushes. Don't forget to turn your tracing paper on if you want to see the source image. I'm going to go ahead and leave the, it very lightly displayed. And as long as the color wheel is grayed out, as we see here, if we take a look at the menu, it's using the clone color. That means it's going to paint with the colors from the source image. 
As I begin to explore other brush categories, just keep an eye on that. Make sure that that's turned on. It doesn't get turned off. This allows you to paint with the colors from the source image. So Command or Control T is going to let you turn on and off the tracing paper quickly and easily. If I go to something like the airbrushes, I can now start to spray. So this is doing a, a pretty um, photographic, bringing photographically the original image back in. So depending upon the brush, some are going to be a little more abstract and some are going to be a little more realistic. So you can experiment away. You know, I can start to bring that. We've got a nice soft, cloudy background. This is incorporating the dab stencil, which is the, the flow map of the brush. So choose as many different types of brushes as you might like and experiment with bringing your image in. If you happen to make a big mess, kind of like I'm doing right here, and you want to bring back in the original, you can always go back to auto painting and touch up. And we could either use the hard brush or the light brush or the smeary brush, and we can bring back in the original image. So that's just the basics of how you use the photo painting tools in Essentials. Next, we'll move into specific projects showing you how to really paint your photos.